Hey there everybody, this is Eric from Outer Limitless. And it's Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions. We're here in Atlanta today to cover Blade 2019. Now there is a lot of material to cover between June 7th and June 9th. These three days have a lot coming, so stay tuned. You're gonna like it. Hey guys, what's up? It's Carlos. I'm here at the Kaiser booth. Uh, unfortunately, we got here a little late because they have been busy. There have been a lot of sales of stuff that have been going on here, but I am a Kaiser guy. I love Ozzo Designs, and I'm a huge fan of the Gemini. Hello. This is a, uh, a Ray Laconico design. They have the Titanium and the G10. They actually just unveiled some new versions this year, but that was actually you know shown in some earlier videos. I believe during SHOT Show, I want to go over some of the, uh, the newer stuff that's available, uh, stuff that's going to be coming out soon, and some that's still in prototype stages. So let's start with the fire ants. Now, for those of you who know, Kaiser made a big splash with Dirk Tinkerton's Rogue design. Uh, that's a great EDC folder that I use. He really loves the Warncliffe blade. And uh, this particular one is, is uh, based on one of his customs. It's called the Fire Ant. It's a little bit smaller. And just so you can go ahead and gauge what the size is, that's what the size is in my hand from palm all the way to the tip of my finger. And for right now, they have two versions, one that has kind of blue accents and a blue thumb stud, as well as one that has been anodized with gold accents and a gold stud. So that is the Fire Ant. So now that we went through the Fire Ant, which was a Dirk Pinkerton design, let's go ahead and check out something else. This one is from uh, designer Nick Swan. He has come up with two versions of a nice pocket EDC folder called the Microlift. Um, they have the, the G10, it's a nice smooth G10 with an anodized pivot collar. As you can see, it's nice and lightweight. Um, it, has, uh, it has nested liners inside on one side on the lock face. It's a liner lock. Very nice finish. I want to say it's a stone wash, bead blast going into a stone wash finish. And you can use it either as a flipper or maybe even as a thumb hole if you don't have chunky hands like I do. There we go. All right, so you have the G10 version and you have the titanium version. Really, really nice folder. This is the Microlith from Nick Swan. Now, onto a more familiar design that you may know. I am a huge fan of Azo. He is one of the inside guys that designs blades for Kaiser and he is designed for both their Bladesmith series as well as their Vanguard series. As you might know, uh, the Vanguard series from Kaiser has switched from VG10 to N690CO and in certain cases 154CM if you're thinking of the Sheepdog. But this is one that I'd like to go ahead and show you. This is the Kaiser Kesmec. This is uh, model number V4461. It comes in black, orange, and olive green. Now I'm gonna show you the orange one really quick so you can see what it looks like. This is the Kaiser Kesmec. This is an Ozzo design, beautiful blade. It can be opened, but you know, you can spidey flick it, you can thumb flick it. Beautiful design, it comes in black, orange, and OD green. But hope to see you guys with this in your hands soon. Take care. Oh, these ones are you know, water. Now, that's a slippy. I'll show you it's also a. Now you have your dome. 